Welcome to the Humanity Leadership Podcast. My name is David Wheatley. We're here to talk leadership in small, bite-sized and practical chunks. Enjoy. Welcome to episode 79 of the Humanity Leadership Podcast. Uh, and uh, I've got a tool that I want to share today that uh, we call internally the airplane and the mountain. And this is about addressing performance issues. And so if you draw a line, a straight line on a piece of paper that is the base, and then on the right hand side, you draw some triangular spikes that make it look like mountains. Uh, what we're framing up there is a triangle, a timeline, and then the altitude of the mountains being the results that people have to attain. So then the third line of our triangle, imagine our people are airplanes, that they need to hit a certain trajectory in order to make it over the mountains within the timeline that you've set. So we have this triangle, a timeline goes the horizontal, the vertical on the right hand side is the altitude that they must attain, the, the mountains if you like, and then the hypotenuse going from lower left to upper right is the necessary trajectory of our airplane in order to make it over those mountains. Now, when I draw this picture, I usually have three mountains and the third mountain is bigger than the first one because it's no good just skimming the, the first hill and, and hoping that you can make it then settle. The, the mountains continue to get bigger, so that trajectory must stay. And what's important here is that we paint a clear picture for our employees of what they need to attain, the mountains, their timeline for success, the distance between now and the mountains, the current trajectory, what the impact is if they keep on going the way that they are, and then the consequences of the current trajectory. Help them understand what is a necessary trajectory looks like in terms of their activity and behavior, and then track their progress regularly and provide feedback. Because there's gonna come a point where they're in what I call a zone of no return. They're so cl close to the mountain, they are not capable of getting the lift to get over the mountain. And that's the point that we know that something has to change. As we play with this tool, we actually draw in quite often four different types of trajectory. The first one we call steady as she goes. It's a green line that's going straight over the mountains. It's in a great angle, great direction. We just need to stay the course, don't let up, and look at some behaviors and try and lock them into habits. If we go slightly lower than that, we have a yellow line which doesn't quite go over the first mountain. And we call that the turn it up line because we need to put a little bit more energy into what we're currently doing and or do some things differently. And we have some work to do, but it's not lethal yet. It's, it's the work that we have to do, but it's you're OK. You should be able to make that. The third line is actually aiming for the middle of the first mountain. This is called the red line and jettison cargo line. This is an emergency. We have to put everything into the trajectory change and we have to potentially stop doing some things in order to get the trajectory where we need it to be. Once it's there, we can start to look at how we add things and build. But this is dire. This is a crisis. We need to address this. And then there's a fourth line, which is pretty much horizontal. This is called the prepare the parachute line. And it means, is there a better position in the organization, better suited to this individual's talents? Or is there a most, more su suitable role elsewhere? So this is really, we, all we can do is get ready to bail out of the airplane because there's no way we can redline it, jettison enough cargo to get us to the top of that mountain. When I draw this picture out for people, I find that it really helps when we're addressing performance issues because we can be clear as to what we're actually seeing. There's a big difference between prepare the parachutes and just turn it up. And so being clear about that and what those behaviors and attitudes look like on the trajectory is critical if we're addressing performance issues. I'll tell you what I'll do though. If uh, you listen to this and you like the idea of this and you wanna send me a note, I'll send you a little picture that has the, the graphic that we're talking about on. Uh, feel free to email me at david at humanity.com and I'll send you that back. Enjoy. That was the Humanity Leadership Podcast. My name's David Wheatley. For further information about Humanity, go to humanity.com or check out our latest book, What Great Teams Do Great from all good bookstores. Have a good one, stay healthy.